love my race pass. I love my race pass. I love my race pass. Okay, go ahead. I love my race pass. I love my race pass. I love my race pass. Go ahead. Everyone I know uses my race pass. One, two, three. Going to get started with some B-Modified Heat Races. Heat Race number one making their way out on the track right now. Starting Bella Vista, Arkansas's double zero. Case and Harris on the pole. On us outside out of Fayetteville, Arkansas, number 26 of Brian Williams. Inside row number two out of Billings, Missouri, the 55T of James Turnbull. On James's outside out of Jay, Oklahoma, the 89X of Jared Crouch. Inside, row number three out of Springfield, Missouri, the number 19 of James Smith. On James's outside, Steve Worf in the number 42 machine out of Pierce City, Missouri. Eight laps of distance here. Heat race at number one, B modified. Harris Williams on the front row. Turnbull Crouch, Smith and Worf. Again, welcome here to week two, Monet Motor Speedway. We appreciate you race fans coming out. Also appreciate everybody tuning in on the showmedirt.tv live broadcast there. Thomas Shaw doing an awesome job. We're excited to have him on this year. We'll get Harris up there on that front row. Again, Harris Williams, front row, Turnbull Crouch, and Smith and Wharf. Lights out. Time to get started. Hey, everybody, a little anxious to get this thing started. Let's go. Green flag, first time here. We coming to. 26 of Brian Williams with the lead on the outside. Harris will move up. That'll allow the 89 of Crouch. Take that second spot. Harris ain't going nowhere on that top side. Case of Harris. Holding on to that second spot. He's got James Turbo knocking on that back door. At the moment, Brian Williams out front. Case and Harrison in that second spot. Jared Crouch on that 89X. Trying to find out with James Turnbull. Turnbull in that third spot at the moment.
Brian Williams with about an almost two second lead over Case Harrison, that double zero. James Turbo knocking on the back door of that double zero as they come through three and four. Brian Williams with extending that lead out, 2.113. Another half a second back to James Turbo. Turbo falling back just a little bit off of Harris as they go down the back stretch. Coming to halfway, you're being modified heat race number one. Again, Brian Williams out front, deservedly so, as he is running the fastest average speed of a 19.152. Surprisingly, the next fastest is uh, Steve Ward from that number 42 machine, unfortunately bringing up the right here in heat race at number one. Brian uh, Williams still out front in that number 26 machine. Case Harris holding on to second. James Turnbull third. Hey, everybody's starting to use that middle line there. Gonna be fast racing through that middle tonight. Williams taking the white flag here as he's led all seven laps so far. Steve Orr spin between three and four. We'll just let her continue on. Brian Williams coming through three and four. Last time by, three second lead. I don't see anybody catching him as he comes down the front stretch to take the win here in B Modified. He ranks number one. Case Harris coming in second. James Turnbull third. Jared Crash finishing fourth. James Smith fifth. And Steve Wharf coming across the line there, one lap down in that sixth position. That'll do for B Modified. He ranks number one. Race number two lined up, ready to go back there. Excellent racing from Heat Race number one. Again, welcome, race fans. Be sure to visit the Pit Stop Grill, get your hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, chili dog, nachos, chili cheese nachos, candy, popcorn, chips. Also, New Year's here. Get your Frito pie. Drinks going one for four dollars, two for six. Get you a hot coffee, hot chocolate, one dollar a piece. We got Coke, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, root beer, sweet tea, Powerade water. Again, big thank you to Metro Towing coming out again for this 2022 season. Heat race number two, your B modified is making the way out onto the track now out of Farmington, Arkansas, the C35 of Casey Wilson. On Casey's outside out of Van Buren, Arkansas, the 05 of Brent Williard. Brad Murdoch out of Siloam Springs, Arkansas on the 81M start inside row number two. Greg Woodcock on his outside out of Neosha, Missouri. Kelly Chick Hicks in the number 32 starting inside row number three. And Keith Kingston in the 51K out of Garfield, Arkansas rounding out the field here in B Modified Heat Race number two. Big thank you to Stanfield Sanitation Rubbish and Removal. Torch Performance and Repair located 3677 North Main Street in Joplin. Get a hold of them at 417-623-8677 for your diesel needs. Grand Tire located Highway 37 in Pier City, Jefferson Avenue in Aurora and Old Highway 37 in Cassville. A lot of good-looking cars. A couple new cars this week as we start our B-Modifieds out again. Wilson and Williard on the front row. Murdoch, Woodcock, second row, and Hicks and Kingston. Row number three. Lineup is right. Flagger Kaylin looks him over, gives him the signal for green flag. Next time, bye. K. 
Casey Wilson, that beautiful white and red C35 machine bringing him through. Turns number three and four, ready to get this thing started here. He raced number two. Green flag, here we go, down the front stretch. Almost tried to single file it out. 81 creeping in from that bottom line. Takes over that second spot. Casey Wilson in that C35 holding on. Everybody single files out. Greg Woodcock going to look to the bottom side. He'll take over that second position from the 05 of Williard. Brent Williard, fast man. Sorry. Brad Murdoch, fast man around last time around. Again, the C35 of Casey Wilson, your current lap leader, Brad Murdoch. Now taking it over out front in that 81 machine, Casey. Having problems on his machine, he'll move back to the pack. He'll probably take it to the back. Brad Murdoch out front, Greg Woodcock in that second spot. And the 05 for Brent Williard. In that third position, Woodcock going to look to the inside of the 81 as they come through and turns one and two. Eighty-one M of Murdoch holding on to that middle line as we come halfway through our heat race number two of B Modifieds. Woodcock going to poke it down the bottom one more time, trying to look to the bottom side, see if he can get a run on there. About dead even, not going nowhere. He keeps inching and inching every lap as we come by. Murdoch with a faster lap that time by. Not by much over Woodcock. Greg gonna tuck it back in to get Murdoch out front, Woodcock in second, Greg A little bit slower off the pace that time by. Half a second back is the 22 of Woodcock. 05 of Brent Williard, three and a half seconds back. He's gonna have a little fight from Kelly Chick Hicks. White flag coming out this time by for your leader. Down the back stretch, Woodcock falls back just a little bit. Murdoch taking over after lap one. Comes around and gonna take the heat race win here. Heat race number two of your B modifies. Murdoch with the win. Greg Woodcock coming in second. Brent Williard, Keith Kingston battling out for that third spot. Brent will take that third spot. Kelly Chick Hicks rounding out your top five. Here he comes back around one more time. The 81M of Brad Murdoch taking the win here. And he raced number two. Got a couple heat races in our Power Eye Super Stocks division here. 11 entries at the moment. One Emma Brad Murdoch naturally with the fastest average speed. Greg Woodcock with a 20 0. Brad Murdoch one tenth of a second faster, the 19 9 average. 05 of Brent Williard with a 20.6 average for all eight laps there. Now, coming out next, the Power Eye Super Stocks. Starting on the pole out of Purdy, Missouri, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. On Dylan's outside, Michael Muskrat out of Stillwell, Oklahoma, in the 164 machine. Starting inside row number two out of Republic, Missouri, the number 27 of Bob Barnett. On Bob's outside out of Green Ridge, Missouri, the 04 of Blaine Ewing. Kenny Shelton's going to start his 19 machine out of Galena, Kansas, inside at row number three. And Kenny's outside. Scott Austin out of Quillen, Missouri, in the number 71. Sounds like we got a couple Austin fans out here. 
Again, big race coming up next week. We got the Power Eye, Josh Essery Memorial, 4,004 to win. Coming from our Power Eye Super Stocks. Bowman Muskrat on that front row. Barnett Ewing, Sheldon Austin. Lights out. Green flag this next time. Bye. Again, I can't say it enough. Go to showmedirt.tv if you can't make it out here to the races. Jump on Facebook. Give it a big share. I believe it's live on Monet Motor Speedway as we speak. Give it a big share for everybody at home to see what we got going on here tonight at Monette Motor Speedway. Here we go, Power Eye Super Stock Key Race number one. Bowman moves up. That'll allow the 27 of Burt Barnett to move to the inside, take over that second spot. Michael Muskrat on the outside pole. Taking over the lead as they go through three and four. He'll look down the front stretch. He'll take the lead here on lap number one. Dylan Bowman actually holding on to that third spot. Michael Muskrat in that 164, your fast car pie that last time. Bob Barnett in that number 27 holding on to that back door. He's not going nowhere. It's your front two. Start to break away from the rest of the crowd just a little bit. Muskrat, Barnett out front. Bowman, Ewing, and Austin fighting it out for that third position. Ewing keeps trying to look to that inside. Bob Barnett doing the same for the lead here. Bob Barnett inching it into that inside. He's got a good run off the bottom. He comes up to the door. Side by side through three and four. Here they come down the front stretch. It's going to be a drag race for the lead. Advantage to Barnett that time around. He's going to slide up just a little bit, and it's too much. He slips and spins here. A little chaos ensues after that. We'll get everybody lying back out. Boy, oh, he had a good run going on that bottom side. Bowman able to make it back on. That'll bring up caution halfway through your heat race. Number one of your Power Eye Super Stocks, Bob Barnett. Taking over the lead, a little slip up. I'm sure he'll be right back up there soon. Current leader, Michael Muskrat, in that 164. The 04, Blaine Ewing, moves up to second. The 04 of Ewing taking the inside. That'll put the 19 of Kenny Shelton on the outside. Bowman inside row number three and the 71 of Scott Austin outside row number three. A 
Lineup looks good. Flag is shuts the lights off. Give them signal for one more time around. Green next time. Bye. Again, halfway through, he rakes number one, three minutes in, three and a half minutes in here. It's your Power Eye Super Stocks heat race number one. Muskrat brings them around three and four. Dives her down on the bottom, blocks that good line. Green flag, here we go. Muskrat out front. Bob Barnett already making moves up to that fourth spot. Coming around for lap number five here on your Power Eye Superstock Key Race number one. Michael Muskrat out front, Blaine Ewing. In that second spot. Kenny Shelton, rather. Twenty seven of Bob Barnett on the inside of the O four Blaine Ewing. Taking over that third spot, Bob Barnett on the inside of the 04, wide flag coming out for your leader, the 164. Kenny Shelton doing a good job of blocking that inside lane, 27. Barnett wanting to advance here. Michael Muskrat, your leader, three-way battle for second. Checkered flag for your leader, Michael Muskrat. Kenny Shell taking home second. Bob Barnett finishing third. Scott Austin fourth. Dylan Bowman fifth. And that will do it for our Power Eye Super Stock. He race number one. He race number two about to make their way out. A couple familiar names on that one. A couple new guys as well. Again, 11 competitors tonight in our Power Eye Super Stocks. Big race coming up next week with that Josh Essery. Memorial, 4,004 to win. Starting on the pole out of Joplin, Missouri, the number 35 of Johnny Coates on Johnny's outside. I'm going to say Tallahanna, Oklahoma. It's my first day. Please excuse me. In the 7V, Tyler Vanderslice. I should have said that with more confidence. Tyler Vanderslice. Starting in that second position. Inside row number two is going to be Matthew Searman out of Harrison, Arkansas, that number one machine. Chuck Knight on his outside and number 60 out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. And starting on the bubble, the 10K machine out of Siloam Springs, the 10K of Kyle Davis. Gonna have the B modifieds, Hornets, mini stocks, Power Eye Midwest modifieds, Super Stocks, and Pure Stocks next week for the Josh Essery Power Eye Memorial Race. Then after that, on April 30th, we're gonna have a hundred lap enduro along with our weekly racing. Kind of an end of the night treat. Those are always fun for us. May 7th is gonna be a night to be here. We're gonna have the late models, B modifieds, our Hornets. Power Eye Midwest Modified, Super Stocks, and Pure Stocks coming on. May 13th, the ASCS 360 Wing Sprint Cars. Putting on a heck of a show last year. We really enjoyed having them. Glad they're going to be back this year.
Lights out. Time to go here on heat race number two. Coates and Vanderslice out front. Green flag, here we go. Coates out to a fast lead, shot out of a cannon, runs down to the top side. Vanderslice and Seaman battling for that second spot. Vanderslice on that outside. One machine moves up in a second position. He'll hold on to it. Coates already way out front, half a straightaway lead. Big moves from Kyle Davis in that 10K, jumping two spots to be in third. He's got the one of Matthew Seaman in his sights. Coates already with a one and a half second lead here. He race number two, three laps in the books this time by. Coates running his best lap that time by 19.780. Nobody else is touching that with a 10 foot pulse. Half a second slower is Matthew Seaman in that one machine. Kyle Davis, so far you're a big mover in this race in that 10K, yellow 10K car. Jumping from the back to fit and be in third at the moment. Coates still your leader here. Five laps in the books. Matthew Simon in that one machine as everybody kind of fouls out. Single file, 10K of Kyle Davis in third. That beautiful car of Tyler Vanderslice in that 7V. One second back from Kyle Davis. And Chuck Knight right now rounding out your field here in heat race number two, your Power Eye Super Sox. White flag coming out for your leader, Johnny Coates. I don't think anybody's gonna touch him as he's got a two and a half second lead over the one machine of Matthew Seaman. Your leader brings him around three and four, sees that checkered flag and takes it. He rates number two winner, Johnny Coates in that number 35 machine, Matthew Seaman in the number one, finishing 2.8 seconds back. Kyle Davis jumping from fifth spot to third in that 10K. Tyler Vanderslice finishing fourth and Chuck Knight rounding out the field here in your heat race number two. All right, your Power Eye Pure Stocks coming out next. They put on a heck of a show this week. Last week, rather. I was hoping I had a little bit of a better turnout, but. Starting on the pole out of Springfield, Missouri, the number 53 of Kevin Yon on his outside. Last week's majority lap leader, the number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. And starting row number two all by his lonesome, I think Josh Paul had to pull off. Michael Bryson out of Bentonville, Arkansas in the number 33 Mustang.
Again, Monette Motor Speedway, big thank you to Metro Towing for coming back this 2022 season. Stanfield Sanitation Garbage and Rubbish Removal, also a big sponsor for us here. Torque Performance and Repair, located at 3677 North Main Street in Joplin. Grand Tire, located Highway 37 in Pierce City, Jefferson Avenue in Aurora, and Old Highway 37 in Cassville. Looks like we got 74 people live watching the live. 72 people watching the live here with us on Mona Motor Speedway on Facebook. There's a little bit of a delay, so I actually get to hear what I'm talking about. Right out. Time to go here in our pure stock heat race. Number one. I would appreciate if everybody goes to our Facebook page, gives a little share, give a little preview of what we got going on here. Next week going to be a heck of a race. Hopefully we got some pretty weather. Green flag coming out here. Gaunt jumps out to the lead all by himself. Landon McLaughlin trying to look that top side. Going to make a little bit of a rate. He'll dive in back behind the 53 of Young. Looking to the inside this time. Who's going to be leading lap number one here? Nobody. It's caution. Gosh, and coming out here. Michael Bryson getting turned between three and four. We'll get them all lined back up here. Right at the moment, you got Kevin Yon out front in that number 53 machine. Landon McLaughlin doing his best to get around him. Keeping up with him real well. Landon McLaughlin actually, actually running a little bit faster that last time by. A little rug marks. Those were prettier cars last week. I mean, they're still pretty cars, but that was some hard racing as we had a bunch of guys coming out last week that don't normally come out to Monet Motor Speedway. It was a lot of fun calling that race. Check it out on YouTube at Show Me Dirt. Like I said, I went back and watched it about six or eight times as I cleaned the house this Sunday. Going to be a fresh start here. Heat race number one. Kevin Yon out front. Lana McLaughlin in that second spot. Green flag. Here we go. McLaughlin with a heck of a run on that top side. Yacht looking really, really good through the middle, coming around for lap number one here. In your power eye, pure stocks. McLaughlin going to give it one more go on that top side. Yacht not expecting it. Excellent run for him on that top side. Let's see if he can make it the hard way around. Yon shuts the door. Pulls up next to the fence, coming down the front stretch. McLaughlin not going anywhere. Great run through the middle. 
Motors on past the 53 of Yacht. Yacht not going anywhere on my bottom side, though, here. Coming to lap number three. Going to have a new leader in the 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Just a two-tenths of a second lead for McLaughlin that time by, but he did run a much faster lap than Kevin Young. 33 of Michael Bryson run about a 23 and a half second lap. He's six and a half seconds. So he's gonna take it off the track, leaving it a drag race. Two cars to solve it all. Again, Landon McLaughlin out front here, just past your halfway as we come to lap number five. Bragging rights coming out right here. The 17 versus 53. Half a second lead here for Lana McLaughlin in the number 17 machine. Landon with an average lap time of 21.31. 21.32 this time by. Kevin Yon, 21.45. White flag coming this time by McLaughlin leading five laps so far. Kevin Yon led the first two. We'll see who leads that most important one, that last lap here of eight here at Motor Motor Speedway. Power Eyes, Pure Stocks Heat Race number one as it comes down the front stretch. Give it up for the 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Taking the win over Kevin Yon. Got a couple mini stocks coming out. Dexter Connor, last week's winner, versus Ricky Foster. Connor starting on the pole in his number 33 machine out of Grand Bay, Missouri. Ricky Foster out of Springdale, Arkansas, new this week in the 20F. And then we got a little mini doodad out there, too. Big thank you to everybody watching there on Facebook. We got about 74 watching live here for the first time. Be sure you guys give it a share. Big share on Facebook as well. Going a full eight laps here in our mini stocks. Wing, wing, wing. Sorry, that's inappropriate. I'm on TV now. I'm live now. I can't be acting like that. I'm sorry, guys. Again, it's going to be Dexter Connor in the 33 versus Ricky Foster in that 20F. Boy, if you're like me, you're probably getting a little bit chilly. Go down and get you some coffee or hot chocolate from the Pit Stop Grill. One dollar. Get your hot coffee here. All right. It looks like we're about ready to start here. <clears throat> and go!
Yes, sir. Green flag here. Dexter Connor. Starting off where he left off last week. He may be holding some people up now that I'm looking at it. 20F wanting to make some moves here. Connor's going to lead lap number one, I think. <laughs> it was going to get close. Ricky Foster going to look to the outside. Going to dive into the inside. Going to run over the little other guy. Please be careful, sir. Ricky Foster, your new leader here on lap uh, number, uh, coming up on lap number two. It's a three wide battle down the front stretch. Dexter Connor wants to look to the middle. Little 49 do that out front currently. I don't know if he's officially in the race or just hanging out with his big brothers. Number 20 of Foster still out front. Kind of. Dexter Connor in that second spot. He's going to take the high side. You're way too high, sir. There's a little bit of an edge there. Dexter Connor doing his best to reel him in here. Almost a full second back is Dexter Connor from the number 20 of Ricky Foster. 1.3 seconds that time by. I wish I had more information on the 49 for you, but that doodad is really getting it out front. Ricky Foster, five out of eight laps. I think he's the leader. Pretty sure he's the leader. Dexter Connor, unfortunately, falling back. Last week's winner, trying to share the love. Dexter Connor, way high. He gets the wall just a little bit. He'll hold on to it for a couple more laps. Your leader, Ricky Foster, the 49 flame dinger out front, taking the white flag. Wow. Dexter Connor goes around again. I believe he has detached his wheel. Just to make everybody aware of that. He says, I'm just going to move. I'll get out of the way. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, well, you just stay right there, little buddy. We'll come get you in here in a minute. Tough break for last week's winner in Dexter Connor. <clears throat> now taking bets on your future winner. Will it be Ricky Foster or the 49 doodad? We're going to go ahead and call that race. It was a good, valiant effort from all competitors. Bring out some Power Eye Midwest Modifieds coming out next. Can't tell if Dexter has a <coughs> is out of the car, but big round of applause for him. We appreciate him coming out tonight, two weeks in a row. Your current points leader. We're going to take a little time, get the car off the track. Of course, be sure to go down and visit the Pit Stop Grill as we get close to intermission here.
Get your hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, chili dog, nachos, chili, chili cheese nachos. Get you some candy, popcorn, chips. Frito pie, I already had one. Mind your business if you see me getting a cheeseburger at intermission too. Get you a Coke, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, root beer, sweet tea, Powerade, water. Big thank you to Metro Tony, getting them all cleaned up there. Interns at number three and four. Hopefully they find his wheel somewhere in the yonder. Thank you to Century 21 Integrity Group. Jerry Schweitzer dumping on this year. k n Filters. Got Rusty Auto Parts out of Shell Knob, Missouri. Nap Auto Parts located 641 West Highway 60 at Monet. And Nap Auto Parts, Cassville, 1010 Old Exeter Road. Grand Tire located Highway 37 in Pier City. Jefferson Avenue in Aurora. And Old Highway 37 in Cassville. Slagles Auto Center, downtown Pier City. Davis and Son. Plumbing, Electrical, Heating, and Air, located here in Monette. And Stanfield, Sanitation, Garbage, and Rubbish Removal. Cameron for already said that. Let's say it again. If you want some photos of your favorite racing drivers here tonight, be sure to visit Inside the Able Photography on Facebook. Official photographer of Monette Motor Speedway. It is time for your Midwest Modified. Heat race number one coming out onto the track here. As soon as we get them all lined out here, it'll be Bryson Stringer in the number 48 machine. And Seneca, Missouri starting on the pole on his outside. Last week's winner, the 929, Joplin, Missouri's Garrett Thompson. Inside row number two, our flag carrier night, the 195 of Tyler Dawson out of Republic, Missouri. And on his outside, multiple time winner last year, the 12M out of Crane, Missouri, of Ron Maples. Again, big thank you to the 65, 64 live here on Facebook. Be sure if you're if you got your phone out anyway, give us a good share and a like. Looks like my man's doing an awesome job here. I don't know if you know this, but we're kind of a big deal now. Flagger Kaylin gives them the sign for green next time. Bye-bye. Again, it's going to be Stringer, Thompson, Dawson, Maples. Heat race number one, your power eye, Midwest Modifieds. Eight laps, the distance. Green flag, here we go. Stringer get a little wild right off the bat. 
929 of Garrett Thompson out front. Ron Maples quickly to that second spot. Half a straightaway lead for the 929 of Garrett Thompson already. Thompson with a 20.28. That last time by Stringer strings her up high. Gets a little wild ride. He'll take her to the rear. Tyler Dawson advances in that third spot. Garrett Thompson comes around to lead lap number two over Ron Maples. Ron 1.78 back from Garrett Thompson. Tyler Dawson another second and a half back from him. Ron, your big mover so far in this heat race at number one. Moving up two spots. Garrett Thompson moving up one. Garrett Thompson with the fastest average lap time with a 20.183. Ron Maples about seven tenths slower per lap. 20.8. Again, the 929 of Garrett Thompson, your leader halfway through, just about to lap number five. Ron Maples holding on to that second spot. Tyler Dawson in third. Bryson Stringer spins out in turn number two. We'll see if he can get her straightened back out. He does a little loop-de-loop -loop in front of the leaders. That'll bring up the caution here in lap number five. Stringer gets a turn right back around. Again, five laps in the books here in your Power Eye Midwest mod. Heat ranks the number one, Garrett Thompson, your leader so far, leading every lap. Ron Maples, that 12M. <laughs> in that second spot, Tyler Dawson in the 195, holding on to third. Almost identical lap times that last time by from Thompson and Maples. Maybe, maybe this caution will be a... Good thing for Ron. We'll see if he has anything for the 929. Three laps to go here. Lights up. Thompson brings him around. Three and four. Hits that lap pedal. Here we go. Thompson once again with a heck of a restart. Already about a six car advantage, 195, and Tyler Dawson takes over that second spot from Ron Maples. One point two four lead over Tyler Dawson, Garrett Thompson out front. White flag coming out for your leader here, the 929 of Garrett. Thompson, Dawson, Maples, and Stringer is the way it goes currently here in lap seven of eight. Thompson coming around three and four. Looking to take the second of many checkered flags, I imagine, this year here on Motor, Motor Speedway. Wait, I'm a big fat liar. I think he took the heat race last week, too. So, Don't listen to anything I say. I'm not trustworthy. That'll do it. That'll do it for Power Eye Midwest Modified. Heat race number one, heat race number two, getting ready to make their way on to the track. Oh, 
five. Starting on the pole here, he ranks a number two. Out of Republic, Missouri, the number 10 of Logan Parker. On his outside, the 14D out of Seneca, Missouri, of Tom Dixon. Out of Stark City, Missouri, the 26B of Tim Brown. And on his outside, Rocky McCleary out of Seneca, Missouri, in the 06 machine. Lineup is right. Parker Dixon on front row. A Brown, a McCleary, a row number two, going down the back stretch at an excellent pace. Ready to get this thing going, green flag, here we go. Things all over the place, kind of a wild start to be honest with you. It won't be a start at all as we'll get things back to an original restart here. Tom Dixon, I'm a big fat liar again. Logan Parker spinning between one and two. get everybody line back out and try this one more time here at heat race number two of your power eye midwest modifies again eight laps the distance zero complete Lights out, you're going green this next time by. Must be troubles on the 10, that'll move the 26 of Tim Brown to the pole. Start here race number two here. Tom Dixon wanting to set the pace on the outside, gets a little bit of an early start. He'll take the lead going into turn at number one through the middle. Oh, we've got a car going straight off. Thankfully, able to stop it. I believe that was the tin machine one more time. Something really amiss on that tin car. I think he's got a brake locked up or something. Something smells funky. Lights out, we'll try it again. Again, this is our last Power Eye Midwest Modified, also our last heat race of the night. We thank you all for joining us on Facebook. If you wanna watch the features, be sure to jump on. I should have had my paperwork. I'm a terrible announcer. I should have had my paperwork to tell everybody where to go. I'll get to you soon. 
Ben Brown that starts things off here. Tom Dixon once again taking the lead, and once again we have the 10 car stopped in between turns one and two. That'll do it for the 10 car. We'll take him to the back, or take himself to the back, rather. Like I was saying, jump on showmedirt.tv, pay the 15 bucks, and watch the features here tonight from Mona Motor Speedway. Big thank you to Thomas Shaw for helping us out tonight and last week, and hopefully for the rest of the year, every week, videoing our races here at Mona Motor Speedway. Of course, you get the heat race. This is kind of a treat. Let's see what we got going on for the night. Thank you, everybody on Monet Motor Speedway for liking and sharing. Going to be a heck of a race next week with the Power Eye Series coming in. 4,004 to win. All right, let's have a race. Tim Brown gets her started. Tom Dixon on the outside, taking the lead. Tom Dixon with the lead. Down the back strokes over the 26B of Tim Brown. Coming around to complete lap number one. Here in your race number two in your Midwest Modified, presented by Power Eye. Everybody kind of single files out here. Tom Dixon's running a heck of a fast lap. He will definitely be someone to compete with here in our feature. Dixon out front for both laps so far. Coming around to lap number three, Tim Brown holding on to the second spot. Rocky McCleary in third. Way through heat race number two of your power ride middle modifieds again. Tom Dixon leading all the way so far. Tim Brown in a second position at 26 B. Rock and McCleary four and a half seconds back that last time by one whole half a track behind your leader Tom Dixon. to go this time by Tim Brown 3.75 seconds behind your leader Tom Dixon Rock and McCleary 6.6 .6 back from second place white flag coming out this time by for your leader of the 14D Three and four for the final time here in Heat Race number two. Your power I'm Midwest modified. Tom Nixon in the 14D taking the win. Tim Brown rolling around. He'll take second. Finishing 4.62 seconds behind Tom Nixon. And Rocky McClure in the 06. Finishing out our heat races here at Mona Motor Speedway. Again, before we go off the air here on Facebook, big thank you to Show Me Dirt. 
giving these folks a preview of what we got going on here at Monat Motor Speedway. Thomas Shaw does an excellent job. Be sure to give him a like on Facebook. Also, Monat Motor Speedway on Facebook. I shared the uh, live. I know a lot of my friends here at Monat Motor Speedway shared the live. We appreciate you all for joining us. For everybody that's here, be sure to go down to the Pit Stop Grill. Get your hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog. Let's get ready to rumble! It's time for your B-Modified A feature! Starting on the pole, Brad Murdoch out of Asylum Springs, Arkansas on the 81M. On his outside, it's going to be Brian Williams in the number 26 machine. Inside, row number two, Greg Woodcock in the number 22. On his outside, Carson Harris in the double zero. Carson Harris, rather. Brent Williards going to start inside row number three in the 05. On his outside, James Turnbull out of Billings, Missouri in the 55 team. Kelly Chick Hicks going to start his 32 machine from the ninth spot. On his outside, Jared Crouch in the 89X. Inside row number five, Keith Kingston in the 51K. On his outside, James Smith in the number 19. And on the last row, the C35 of Casey Wilson. In the 42 of Steve Ward in the rear. 20 laps the distance here in your A feature, your B modified A feature. A brisk 54 here at start time. Lights are out. Hey! Murdoch Williams on the front row. Woodcock Harris, William Turnbull, Hicks, Crouch, Kingston, Smith, Wilson Wharf. Wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four. Let's get it on! Out front quick, all by himself, the number 26 of Brian Williams. Big race for second, Casey Harris, Brad Murdoch. Everybody makes it through three and four safely. Lap number one in the books. Brian Williams, your leader, by seven tenths of a second over Casey Harris. Brad Murdoch holding on to that bottom side. He's got Woodcock right behind him. Woodcock looking at the bottom side. He'll take over to the third spot as they go into turn number three. Williams, Harris, Murdoch, Woodcock. Cock and Turnbull, your top five here. Lap number two in the books. Steve Orr from the 42 already making some moves. James Smith, your big mover so far, going up from 10th to 7th. Steve Orr also advancing three spots from 12th to 9th. Again, Brian Williams still out front. Case Harris doing his best to reel him in. But your top two breaking away. Your top three, as a matter of fact, spread out from the rest of the field. Got a slow car on the back stretch. He looks like he'll pull it in with a plume of smoke. He'll get off the track right in time. I smell of the antifreeze. I don't know if he had made it all the way off. Five laps in the books here. Brian Williams still out front. Case Harris in that double zero. Woodcock, your third place machine, Brad Murdoch, and James Turnbull rounding out your top five. Brian Williams leading all six laps so far. Forty-two of Steve Worf gets turned between three and four. That'll bring up the first caution here on lap number six of your B modified A feature. Steve gets her going back the right direction. We'll get everybody bunched up and try to do it again. Six laps down, 14 to go here in your B modified A feature. Brian Williams so far leading the way.
far and away the fastest car on the track is that 26 machine of Brian Williams, about three tenths of a second faster than that double zero of Kaysen Harris. Looks like there might be problems on the double zero of Kaysen Harris as he takes her to the back. I see a little fire and flame. Maybe he's just waiting for the leaders to come back around. Maybe it was just waiting for the leaders there. Case and Harris gets back going again. 19 of James Smith stopped there in turn number three. So as I look out onto the track, it is not the same running order that you see here on my race pass at the current moment. Out front, the 26th of Brian Williams, of course. Gregory Woodcock in that second spot. Trying to get that 19 machine of James Smith back going here. Tough break. There he goes. I think he's got it back going again. James Smith is your current big mover tonight. Advanced three spots from 10th to 7th. Cason Harris, also another one of the stopped cars here. Looks like he's got it back going again, maybe. He's advanced two. Jarrett Crouch advanced two. Steve Worf causing the caution. We'll obviously take her back to the back. James Smith will do the same. All right, we'll get these guys stacked back up again. Make sure everybody that's not going to compete anymore is safely off the track. Brian Williams, your leader, Greg Woodcock, in that second spot. Elects to go to that high side. That'll put the 81 of Brad Murdoch on the bottom there of second row. Turnbull in that 55, outside row number three on his inside. It's going to be the 89X of Jared Crouch. Kelly Chick Hicks inside row number four. 51 of Keith Kingston on his outside and Steve Worf at the back of the field at the moment. Tough break for the double zero of Case and Harris. Hope to see him back here next week. Excellent running so far this year. Lights are out. Everybody bunches up. Into turn number three. Again, six down, 14 to go here. Green flag in your B modified A feature. 81 car, slow down the front stretch. Gets a heck of a push from James Turnbull on that 55. Bad start for the 81, but he advances back up to that third position. Woodcock all over the backside. 
that 26 of Brian Williams. He'll look to the bottom side, took it right back in. Williams, Woodcock, Murdoch, your top three goes back to Crouch and Turnbull. Your top two of Williams and Woodcock breaking away from the rest of the field. Steve Worf gets back around. Brian Williams with a one second lead over Greg Woodcock. Almost identical lap times that time buys a 19-2 from Brian Williams, 19-2-2, and a 19-2-4 from the 22 of Woodcock. Full 1.2 second lead. Turnbull right up into the nose of the 32 of Kelly Chick Kicks. That'll take over the fifth spot. Caution coming out here on lap number 14. leading every lap so far here. 14 in the book, six to go. Greg Woodcox in that second spot. Brad Murdoch holding on to third, the 89 of Garrett Crouch and James Turnbull rounding out your top five. Steve Orff able to jump up to the sixth position. Keith Kingston and Kelly Hicks rounding out your field here. Gretchen Steve Worf is one lap down up there. So Kelly Hicks and Keith Kingston, six and seven respectively. Everybody getting bunched up here. Lights out, green flag next time. Bye, it'll be six to go in your beam out of five. A feature, excellent racing so far. Brian Williams showing the way from sun up to sundown. Woodcock again electing to go to that top side here in your Delaware double file restart. That'll put Murdoch on the bottom. Green flag, here we go. 81 really pushing Woodcock up into the wall there. Murdoch taking that second spot. Woodcock's going to show him where to go as he puts it right under his fuel cell. Brian Williams still out front. Brad Murdoch in that second spot. Caution coming out again here is the number 42 of Steve Ward. It's turned between a one and two. That will make this next restart a little interesting. Able to get one more lap in that time by. That'll be five to go here in your B modified A feature. Green next time by Steve Worf. 
Gets caught back up. Going to be an interesting restart. I don't anticipate anyone catching Brian Williams. Greg Woodcock and Brad Murdoch, the race here on the field. Swapping positions here. Woodcock on the bottom side this time. Race start, green flag, here we go. Woodcock pushes up, slams the door on the 81. He'll assume that second position. The 89 gets spun in front of the field. That'll bring out the caution one more time here. Get the 89 as Jarrett Crouch going the right way again. Woodcock on the top side this time. Murdoch on the bottom. Lights out. Brings them around three and four. Williams on the point. Here we go. Murdoch not going to be able to shut the door this time. Steve Wolf trying to get a lap back. Up there battling with the front. Woodcock in that second spot. Woodcock and Williams out front here. Brad Murdoch in that third position. James Turnbull, currently your fourth place car, the 89X of Jared Crouch in fifth. Steve Worf kind of throwing a monkey wrench into your top five look, but it is what it is. Greg Woodcock, nine tenths of a second. Behind Brian Williams, Brian Williams dominant so far here. He race, sorry. Feature number two of the year. White flag coming out for your leader, the 26 of Brian Williams. Williams, Woodcock, Murdoch, Turnbull, and Crouch, your top five. Coming around for his first feature win of the 2022 season, the 26th of Brian Williams. Greg Woodcock coming in one and a half 
seconds, 1.6 seconds behind your leader, Brad Murdoch, finishing third. James Turnbull in the fourth position. Jared Crouch finishing fifth. Kelly Hicks sixth. Keith Kingston falling back to seventh. And Steve Worth rounding out the field here. Excellent racing from our B-modified A feature here. Couple cautions, but that ain't never hurt nobody. The car's off, the helm is off. Let him hear him making his way all the way from Fayetteville, Arkansas, the number 26 of Brian Williams, taking home his first feature win here of the 2022 season. All right, big round of applause. He's out of the car. Big win for the 26 of Williams tonight. Promise it if you clap, it'll make you warmer. All right, one more big round of applause for the 26 of Williams. Appreciate him coming all the way out. Dominating performance here in our B-modified A feature. As we get those results in, it'll be our Power Eye Super Stocks coming up next. Again, big race coming up next week. Going to be that Power Eye 4,004 to win the Josh Sessory Memorial. Making their way out onto the track. It's your Power Eye Super Stock A feature. That's still well, Oklahoma, the 164. Michael Muskrat starting on the pole. On us outside, Kenny Shelton in that number 19 machine. Johnny Coates in the number 35 inside row number two. Starting from the fourth position, it's going to be the one of Matthew Seaman. Inside a row, number three, the 10K of Kyle Davis. On us outside, Blaine Ewing in the 04. Tyler Vanderslice is going to start the V. Why is that so hard for me to say? The 7V from the seventh spot. On his outside, Bob Barnett, the number 27 out of Republic, Missouri. Inside row number five, Scott Austin out of Quillen, Missouri in the 71. And on his outside, Chuck Knight in the number 60. And starting from the bowl tonight, the number 69 of Dylan Bowman. Muskrat Shelton. On the front row, lights are out. Coates and Seaman, Davis Ewing, Vanderslice, Barnett, 
Austin Knight and Bowman. These are the races I would look forward to when I was a kid coming to Monette Motor Speedway in the late 90s. Here we go, I am ready. Green flag. Side by side battle up front. We got the one of Seaman ready to push his way up to the front. Put himself in that battle for the lead right away. Leading lap number one's gonna be the 19 of Kenny Shelton. Matthew Seaman. In that second spot, Coates at the bottom side of Muskrat here on lap number, coming to lap number two. Soon to be a three-way battle for number two spot. Kenny Sheldon out front all by his lonesome. Matthew Simmons doing his best to reel him in here. Three laps in the books here in your Monet Motor Speedway uh, A feature, your Power Eye Super Stock. Problems on the 19 machine. That's going to open up a big old hole for that lead. Michael Muskrat paying ultimate price as he goes way back. Seaman to the point. Coates moves up to that second spot. Blaine Ewing. Now in the third position, Kyle Davis, Bob Barnett, rounding out your top five. Barnett looks to the bottom side of the 10K of Davis to take away that fourth position. Biggest battles up front, Seaman and Coates. Seaman with about a half a second lead over Coates. He's trying his best to stay up with him. Main two have broke away, Blaine Ewing. Trying to use that high line, trying to find some speed, get up there to the top two. Fifth place is where it's at for big racing right now. Michael Muskrat currently holding on to that spot. He's got Bob Barnett and Vanderslice right behind him. Oh, Vanderslice gets a little piece of Barnett. Barnett's able to hold on to it. Coming to lap number nine here, the number one of Matthew Seaman still out front. Johnny Coates in the number 35 machine doing his best to stay up with them. Blaine Ewing holding on to the third spot. Kyle Davis, Michael Muskrat, your top five still. Halfway through your Power Eye Superstock A feature. And these guys are going to be fighting for $4,004 to win next week. I expect to see a bunch of these guys here. Dylan Bowman, another 69 machine gonna take her to the back. Run for Seaman off that top side. He gains even more ground here on the 35 of Coates. Coates fast through three and four. Seaman able to extend his lead to a six tenths of a second that time by. Blaine Ewan about two seconds behind Coates. 
Coat's way off. Matthew Seaman able to check out now. Wait, two seconds ahead of your second place car, Johnny Coates in that number 35 machine. Problems on the tin machine as he had a good run. He was in a good a battle with the 04 of Blaine Ewing. Gonna be 16 down, four to go this next time by here in your Power Eye Superstock. The feature Matthew Seaman out front, Johnny Coates in the second for the time being. He's got Blaine Ewing starting to catch up. Want him here. Not sure if he's gonna have enough real estate. Ewing's hood goes up. He cannot see in that 04 machine. He's got a little bit of daylight there on your left side. I guess just as long as he stays on that inside lane, he should be all right. Sparks coming from the 35 machine. This just keeps getting better by the minute. Your top three cars slowing down here. Muskrat, Barnet, and Knight starting to catch up. Nobody's catching Seaman out front. He's got about a seven-second lead. Michael Muskrat trying to get on top three here. White flag coming out for your leader. Again, the 04. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the hood is up on the 04 machine. Smoke and fire coming out of your second-place car. What is going on? Michael Muskrat able to come up. To that second spot, everybody get around. What was your second and third car? Bob Barnett advances up to your third spot with all the excitement. Oh, and the car spins here with all the excitement. I forgot to announce your man. My apologies to the man, Matthew Seaman, for getting, for getting to call his win. A lot of excitement. I hope next week brings half as much as excitement as that race did. Matthew Seaman home. Seaman taking home the win. I was wrong. Thought should come out before the finish. Again, now I think you can see it, the 04. Trying to look around his hood here as he comes down the front stretch, coming up on lap number 16. He's just gotta do it for one more lap as we'll have a green, white, checkered finish. Seaman out front. Barnett, Muskrat, row number two, green and white. Here we go. Three wide. Oh, your leader. Three cars for the finish. One car stalls on the back stretch. Chaos, chaos, chaos. This isn't even the big money race, guys.
Lights are out. Green and white together. Then the checkered Michael Musgrad out front. Going to be a heck of a finish. Five left. Green flag. Seaman looks to the inside of Muskrat as to go down the back stretch. Seaman dives down to the bottom. He's going to pull a slide jump. Collects Muskrat just a little bit. Who's going to finish at the checkered flag? Going to be Seaman. Seaman pulling the slide jump for the win over Michael Muskrat on the last turn. Muskrat showing his disapproval as they go down the back stretch. Heck of a finish here for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Imagine how it's going to be next week. Imagine how it's going to be next week when these guys are battling for $4,004 to win in the Josh Essery Memorial Race. Matthew Seaman taking home the win. Michael Muskrat finishing second. Bob Barnett third. Chuck Knight finishing fourth. And Tyler Vanderslice rounding out your top five. Your field at that. All right, taking the win out of Harrison, Arkansas, the number one of Matthew Seaman. Putting on a heck of a show here at Moonhead Motor Speedway. Hopefully he comes back next week. It's time for your power eye. Pure stock, a feature. Landon McLaughlin, the number 17, starting on the pole. On his outside, it's going to be the 53 of Kevin Yon. Michael Bryson in the 33, going to start inside a row number two. Josh Paul, unfortunately, not able to make it out for the feature.
lights are out. 15 laps the distance here. McLaughlin and Yon on the front row. Green flag, here we go. McLaughlin tries to shut the door on Yon on that outside. He'll pay a little bit for it. He keeps the lead though. McLaughlin and Yon. Bryson, your top three. Yon hard charging. Gets a little high. Loses a little. Lana McLaughlin leading lap number one here of your Power Eye Pure Stock A feature. McLaughlin with a pretty sizable lead here on lap number one. Coming around for lap number two here. 1.314 second lead. Problems. On the Bryson machine here, number 33. Hopefully he can make it all the way back around. Sounds like he's got it going again. McLaughlin, who led a lot of the laps last week, coming just short of the win out front this week here, week number two. Happen to take the low line this time. Gets around a lap car of Bryson here. About a two second lead over the number 17 machine of Lana McLaughlin. and Bryson will take her back to the pits. Second lead over the 53 of Kevin Young. Six laps in the books here, 15. Kevin Young with a faster lap that last time by. Lap number six. Again with a faster lap, Kevin Yon. Starting to make up a little ground here on Landon McLaughlin. Landon McLaughlin with a 1.968 lead. Stretches it out a little bit this time. Huh? Landon McLaughlin starting from the pole, leading every lap so far. Coming to lap number nine here of 15. Yon still holding on there. Loses another tenth of a second the last time by. Yon way high that time. Gets a hold of the wall just a little bit. McLaughlin on rails out front. Really go hold that car this year. Twelve laps in the books, three to go that time. Lana McLaughlin, the number 17 machine, still out front over the 53 of Kevin Young. Thirteen laps in the books, two to go.
White flag coming out for your leader, Landon McLaughlin. Dominating performance so far over the 53 of Kevin Yon. And Michael Bryson, unfortunately, a DNS for the 82 of Josh Paul. Coming to the checkered flag, gonna be Landon McLaughlin taking home the win. I believe this man's led the most laps this season of anybody. Out of Aurora, Missouri, taking home the win here in your Power Eye Pure Stock A feature, the number 17 of Landon McLaughlin. Big round of applause for this young man. All right, one more big round of applause for Lena McLaughlin as they wrap up his pictures here. We'll get everybody safely back in to the grandstand so we can get back to racing here. Gonna want to <coughs> run a 10 lap feature for the mini stocks and our little flame dinger buddy, too. Ricky Foster gonna be starting on the pole. I don't know if Dexter Connor's gonna make it out or not. We'll see. It's a surprise. Another entrant. A backup car, perhaps? All right, mystery car.
I don't have a name for a mystery car, so we're just gonna say its name is Ty Davis in the number 28. I'm a liar. <coughs> I read it the last second. All right, lights are out. Ricky Foster and Ty Davis. And Don Myers in the number 49. I've got a name for the Flame Digger, too. Green flag, here we go! Number 20, missing a gear. He's got to go in the right direction now. Mystery entrant, Ty Davis out front. Uh-oh, somebody's catching up. Gonna make a race of it here. Don Myers out front, but he don't really count. It's gonna be the number 20 of Ricky Foster in the 20F, getting around the 49. They found that gear he was looking for. Gets around Ty Davis, and gets around the 49 of Don Myers out front. Takes it to the back. I hear a sigh of sorrow from the crowd. Ricky Foster popping and cracking out front. Ty Davis in the 28, about a whole straightaway behind him. Three laps down, coming to four laps. Halfway through your Hornet A feature. Second lap that time for Ricky Foster. 24.2 for the 28 of Ty Davis. Going to be six laps in the books. Six laps down for Ricky Foster. I bet we have a new winner this week here. Of course, last week's winner was Dexter Connor. We all seen what happened to him earlier tonight, unfortunately. Ricky Foster, three laps from achieving his dream. Looking good out front so far. Gonna be two laps to go for the 20F of Ricky Foster. Come into the white flag, your leader, the 20F of Ricky Foster. Got to make it half a lap more, my friend. Coming to his first feature win of 2022, the 20th of Ricky Foster. And coming in on a close second, the 28th of Ty Davis, a.k.a. Mystery Car.
right, helmets off. He's climbing out of the car. Let him hear it. The 20th of Ricky Foster coming all the way from Springdale, Arkansas, taking home the win. Thank you, crowd. That's better. Even better, make him feel it. Yeah! Ricky Foster, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for our last feature of the night here at Mud and Motor Speedway, week number two. We appreciate y'all hanging out so far with us tonight, and we really look forward to seeing you next week. Making their way onto the track. Your Power Eye Midwest Modified A feature. Starting on the pole out of Joplin, Missouri, the 929 of Garrett Thompson, your current points leader, last week's winner. On us outside, it's going to be the 14D of Tom Dixon. Inside row number two, the 195 of Tyler Dawson. On his outside, Tim Brown and a 26B. Inside a row number three, Ron Maples in the 12M. On his outside, Rocky McCleary in the 06. And starting on the rear, Bryson Stringer in the 48, and Logan Parker in the number 10. Not seeing a number 10 machine yet. Lights are out. Fast, fast front row. Heat race one winner, Thompson inside row. Heat race two winner, Dixon on the outside. Wheel to wheel, door to door. Here they come through three and four. Let's get it on. Oh, six machine, really high start. Hits the wall right off the bat. Meanwhile, 929, Garrett Thompson out front. Tyler Ross on the inside of Tom Dixon here between three and four. Out front, Garrett Thompson leads lap number one. Bryson Stringer getting a little squirrely down the front row. Gonna be caution here on lap number one.
Lights are out. Thompson brings them around, three and four. Let's get this thing started. Green flag, here we go. A little three wide action down the front stretch to start off. Ron Maples on a heck of a run down the back stretch, looking to get around Tom Dixon on that outside. Garrett Thompson out front. Your leader there on lap number one, Tyler Dawson in second spot. Ron Maples currently holding on to the third spot. Tom Dixon, Tim Brown rounding out your top five. Bryson Stringer gets turned around, and the 06 barely gets around him. It's going to bring out the caution here on lap number one. Back in action here. One lap in the books, 19 to go here. Garrett Thompson out front. Tyler Dawson holding on a second spot. Ron Maples in third, he'll be up top. Tom Dixon currently in fourth position, Tim Brown. Rounding out your top five. Rocky McCleary and Bryson Stringer. Finish out the field here. Again, one down, 19 to go. In your Power Eye Midwest modified A feature. Green flag, here we go. Dixon able to take that second spot away. Tyler Dawson will move back to third. Tom Dixon, problems on the 14D machine. He'll take her to the back. Thompson leads lap number two. Ron Maples up to that second spot. Tyler Dawson will fall back to third. Tim Brown, Bryce, and Stringer, your top five currently. Front by a margin of one and a half seconds so far. Another seven tenths of a second back to Tyler Dawson, 1.7 seconds to Tim Brown. Bryson Stricker currently in the fifth spot. Five laps in the books here of 20. Rod Maples running his best lap that time by. 20.01. Oh, 
Eric Thompson still faster out front, obviously. Seven laps in the books here. Garrett Thompson is still out front. Ron Maples holding on to second. Tyler Dawson rounding out your top three. I have a feeling this is going to be the theme of this year in our Power Ride video Spotify. Garrett Thompson showing the way. Caution coming out here. Looks like Bryce and Stringer getting spun here in turn number two once again. Two spin rule there on Bryson Stringer, number 48 machine. Thompson, Maples, Dawson, your top three. Goes back to Tim Brown and Rocky McCleary now, your top five. Nine laps of the books of 20, 11 to go. Eleven to go. When we get back to green flag racing here, Dawson wanting to get a run up on that inside. Not going to do it. Thompson fast, fast. Thompson, uh, uh, Maples, Dawson, your top three. Seven for Garrett Thompson that time by. Pretty good for a race start. Ron Maples with a 19 out of 971. Dawson doing his best to contest with that second spot. Looking to the inside. Maples gonna shut the door, lowers the car down to another gear, going to another. This is a little ground, a little too high between one and two. Garrett Thompson with a 19.5 flat that last time by. That'll be his fastest lap of the night. Coming up on line traffic. T 
Thompson gets around the lap car of McCleary safely. Seventeen down, three to go. In your last day feature of week number two here at Motor Motor Speedway. Two to go. the white flag here, 929, Garrett Thompson. Thompson, Maples, Dawson, still your top three. Coming around, turns three into four for the last time. Here week number two, checkered flag for the 929 of Garrett Thompson coming home with the win. Finishing in that second spot, Tyler Dawson third, Jim Brown coming around fourth, and Rocky McCleary finishes one lap down in that fifth position. Monette Motor Speedway thanks you all for coming out. We'll see you next week for the Power Ride 4,000 and four to win. Josh Hesterie Memorial. His window net's already down, he's ready to party. This is the second time in a row here in victory lane, the 2022 season. Big round of applause for the 929 of Garrett Thompson. One more big round of applause as you walk out for Garrett Thompson in the 929. We'll see him next week. Did you know suicide is one of the leading causes of preventable death for young people in our nation? Most individuals considering suicide do show some sign of their intentions. A friend asks is the Jason Foundation's free smartphone app designed to provide you with the tools and resources you need to help a friend or a young person who's struggling with thoughts of suicide. Within the app, there's a Get Help Now button, which will connect to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. There's also information on how to help a friend, which will show warning signs you can look out for, do's and don'ts if you recognize those signs in a friend, suggestions on how to have that difficult conversation, and resources for help. Education is the key to prevention, and with information like this as close as your smartphone, you can help save a life.